So the young man that you're about to meet is a great example. He is 11 years old. He combines his performing talent with profound insight as to what makes this country such a special place. And listen up, please, because this message is for you and for anybody who cares about the future of this country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jolly Swag. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. After you. Good evening, everyone. Come on, I know you can do a little better than that. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. My name is Jolly Swag. I'm an actor, entertainer, the CEO of my own business, junior broadcaster, and so much more. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to perform for you my, my poem called His Story, Her Story, Our Story. It talks about the founding of our nation and the importance of sharing your history. DJ, can you drop the beat? His story, her story, our story. Responsibility belongs to each of us to tell it all. History left untold is powerless, and knowing our history gives us the wherewithal. To navigate this thing called life, for if we are not educated about our past, we'll surely repeat the good as well as the bad, destined to walk down that same path. A few documents help shape our country into what it is today. The Declaration of Independence, very important document drafted, allowed our breakaway. Independence from Great Britain, our own say is what they sought. Thomas Jefferson, author of this foundational text, summer of 1776 is when they fought. An official act taken by all 13 American colonies, in the U.S. declaring independence from British rule. But even in the midst of the American Revolutionary War, they wanted to put an end to what they felt was misrule. The land of opportunity the U.S. would soon become. Few nations know when they were born. Declaration of Independence serves as proof of the who, when, and why we were born. See, education of our nation's history is critical to our livelihood. The joy of basic liberty and rights we enjoy stems from this historical work. Unfortunately, studies confirm a problem. Younger generations don't know their history. But the stories of our forefathers should not remain a mystery. Amongst the most famous phrase from the Declaration is, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. See, there it states that none of us are different, and that they are endowed by God, Creator, with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These things should no longer require a fight. America, the land of opportunity. We live in a country that's truly blessed, but America, as Miss Cakel's James would say, is both a masterpiece and a work in progress. And the entire job of teaching history cannot just be left to the teachers. It must be told by family and loved ones, to our youth, who are our future leaders. Listen, until I tell my story, one can never understand what I go through. His story, her story, our story. No one can tell it like you do. Sharing stories is essential to our growth. People make history, so share the narrative you recall. We all want America to be a great place, with justice, liberty, and equality for all. So study the lessons of our history to teach your children and their children, because I promise to be an inspiration to learn, study, and teach to my, to my generation. Remember, it's the responsibility of you and me to share our history. For if we are not educated about our past, we'll surely repeat the good as well as the bad, destined to walk down that same path. Thank you. Come on up here. That's for you, my friend. Thank you guys. What an inspiration you are. You're, you're 11 years old? Yes. I quit. That's it. 
Now, Jolly Swag, is that, is that the name you were born with? Or? Um, no. I was going to say, because I, I met your parents. They're wonderful. They are so proud of you. Fantastic mom and dad. And if they named you Jolly Swag, that's a, that's a lot, you know, to start your life. But, so you came up with that? Um, well, my mom, because me and my dad have the same name, so um, she wanted a, day, a way to distinguish us. And I was always a rambunctious child, and she yeah. thought I was going <laughs> to hurt. buy that? She thought I was going to hurt the baby, and she took a parenting class, and she realized the difference between willfully defiant and childhood disobedience. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, you take over for the night. I'm going to go back. You just take... Yeah. Jolly, it's an honor. It's a pleasure. You are truly an inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, one more hand for Jolly Swag. Thank you. Well done.